Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Hezza4D and today I have a, a Cinema4D tutorial and After Effects. I'm going to show you how to do cell render and then I'm going to show you how I did my newest intro, like some how I put it together and stuff because a lot of people were asking. Um, so yeah, let me show you what we're going to do today. You can see like these people were asking uh, how did I do that cell render and uh, right here. So um, I'm going to do it for you and if you wanted me to do any tutorial or something you like, I just send me like a link of example you like to watch or, or if you already know what you have in mind, just, just leave it in the comments, the script, uh, I mean, or PM me or whatever. And um, yeah, let me show you guys what we're going to do. So we're pretty much gonna do this cell render, these like lines and stuff, and I'm gonna show you how to overlap it and do all that stuff in After Effects and the render settings and Cinema 4D and how I d did it. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. Um, so pretty much after you've done your intro, whatever, um, you animated, did the whole thing. This is an intro I did for a friend of mine, uh, Mercer Vex, and um, pretty much you do the whole thing. Uh, you yeah the textures you whatever and then in the render settings um, well everybody has their own render settings you can do whatever you want but I'm just gonna go over mine the ones I use I put the width uh, 1280 by 720 all frames and then I went to save and I made a new folder on my desktop and I named it um, Mercer FX intro or something like that and I and uh, we're gonna render it two times to get this effect so um, I suggest making a, a don't add no background, nothing in here. Just make it plain. And then if you render it in PNG and then click on Alpha Channel and Straight Alpha, it renders like each frame like in a sequence format. That's what I use. So it makes like a like minus 300 frames is gonna make like see it's, it makes uh, all these pictures and it's one by one. So so yeah, just make a folder in your desktop and save it on there. And um, and then if we go to anti-aliasing, I put it on best options. I change the ray depth to six, the reflection depth to two, shadow depth to six. Then add a global illumination. I put a IRC QMC still image, primary intensity of 200. I put low, custom, but you just put it on low, weak, minimal. And then ambient inclusion. I think I just left it the same how it is. And then I rendered it. Render project. Then go back to the render settings after it's done. Name it something else. Name it on the same folder. But this time, check cell render. If you go to effect, it should be cell render right here. But it's not on there because I already have it checked. And um, what I did, this should be the opposite. The color should be opposite. So make sure you change the edge color to white and the background color to, to black. It should be the opposite. It, the edge color should be black. And Oh, if you want it white, then... Uh, you could go ahead and do it however you want and I check uh, edges if you want could you could mess with all these settings um, oh I have a um, auto keyframe on I suggest you turn that off when you're working with stuff but if you want to automate um, stuff keep it on like automatic if you want to be putting keyframes and hitting controls and so yeah so once that's done you render it so you can have two renders one with color you like gonna be this color and then one with the cell render settings on so and after you do that you should have two renders and stuff it should be a bunch of images but I'll show you how I do it in After Effects um, so so once I, I start I go to file I go to import file and then here's a cell render so you go to the zero 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 and then the first one should have like four zeros and then I hit open and it should import the whole, the whole clip. I just drag it under and see there you go it's a bunch of images but it puts it all together and here's the whole animation so here's the whole animation and then you go to file import file and then you scroll down into oh here's the color one uh, right here zero zero and we put this one down and let's rename it um, Mercer FX color and we rename this one 
Mercer effects cell. So we could tell which one's which. And like like how I made it like uh, like if you put this one, I mess with the with this. I you if you go to down here it says toggle switches. You can switch this because I don't know probably yours looks like this. You put toggle switches it's right here in the mode, and I, you can change it to add, and it gives you the two effects. If you put the cell render at top. See, you can see the lines plus the color or screen, whatever. You can see both of them are combined, so it gives you that one effect. So the two renders are combined. That's that's a cool effect. I I put all three because uh, what I did is um here. Let's go to composition and then go to composition settings and uh, I'm gonna make it longer. It's like 20. I don't know. All right. So what I pretty much did, if you wanted to start off with the black and white, what I did was I like resized it. Probably. Uh, no, hold on. Uh, you pretty much want to see what you have. Like, say if you want to start off with the color. Um. So say like the first th two seconds, I wanted color. So you just drag this one like this. And then in two seconds, it'll go like this. And then say on, at four seconds, you just want the top one, and then like you, you shorten this one. And now it's just gonna be like this. And then you could just hit, uh, click on it, hit Control C V, and then um, you know like just uh, move it however you want. Like I just mess with this. I keep messing with overlapping. You know, you go overlap it. You could try all this different stuff however you want. That's pretty much how I did the the animation, and then uh, you know I added optical flares, all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial how I did it, because you guys were want to know how I did it. And um, so yeah, please request tutorials in the description, and um, tell me uh, what you would like to see on my channel and stuff like that. And also, I'm I'm thinking of making a a music pack. So if you guys want like a, it's all dubstep and electro house, uh, all the newest like tracks and stuff. Some of you guys want a music pack or a GFX pack or something. And also I have a lot of time in my hands. Uh, so if you guys want to intro or something, this messes me. Uh, I charge PayPal, but also let's say Microsoft points or like an iTunes card or something. So cause I know a lot of people don't have uh, my PayPal, so I will set a PayPal card. I mean. Uh, iTunes or uh, Microsoft points or, or Xbox live or something like that so yeah um, that was a tutorial and yep peace out and also you gotta be on Skype is I has a 3d and you can message me on here ask any questions or if you want to buy intro or something like that it's add me and um, yeah peace out you too